Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Well, this vlog is starting in a rather different location this morning. I've got my gorgeous man with me here, looking lovely. I love that jumper on you. It's oh, a really, really nice jumper on that. Um, because we have got a really lovely weekend plan. It is actually mine and Alex's seven year anniversary. Can you believe we've been together seven years? Oh, it was six. It's seven this year. I'm joking. <laughs> I was going to say, I've definitely not miscounted. It's been seven years. We started dating in 2016. We were literal babies when we started dating. It's absolutely bad. I mean, mad. we weren't literal babies. I'm quite <laughs> glad we weren't literal babies. <laughs> But when you look back at how different we looked, how different we acted, like to where we are now, I mean, it's absolutely mad, isn't it? Yeah. And the first anniversary that we're celebrating as a betrothed couple. What's that in friends? Where he's like, as a betrothed couple, betrothed, as a betrothed, as a betrothed <laughs> Our first anniversary as a betrothed couple. So that is really exciting. Um, so we've got a little bit of a cozy, romantic weekend planned in Oxford. We're actually meeting some friends there as well. Just spending a bit of time with them, which will be so, so lovely. We've got a meal booked tonight at the Ivy, which is literally one of my favorites. If ever you come to the UK, I would definitely recommend doing like a tour of all of the Ivies around the UK because they're really like same, same, but different. Like they really have got that kind of like branding nailed where you know you're in an Ivy, you know the food's gonna be amazing, you know the service is gonna be amazing, but they're all slightly different. So it makes it worth going to like others. It doesn't feel like you're going to a chain. They always feel really like unique and individual and they're so, so lovely. So we've got a meal book tonight um, and then we're just having a little cozy overnight stay, which is just so, so lovely. So as you can see, the sun is shining. It's a really like chilly October day, which I am absolutely loving. And it should be a really nice weekend because I could not take the last one in Oxford. Um, we used to actually go up and visit um we spend the day in oxford quite a lot but obviously now that we're down in the new forest it's a little bit of a further drive for us um so the kind of thing to like really make a weekend out of um but it's going to be such a nice weekend i'm so looking forward to it um so yeah just on right now and i'm really excited Are you excited oh my goodness that bump <laughs> i'm so excited so excited Woo! just arrived in Oxford now and my goodness me I don't think I've ever seen Oxford this busy it is absolutely heaving but on a beautiful October day it's not surprising look at this beautiful backdrop behind me so we've come straight up to go and get some food we've come to the rooftop in um Westgate and we've come to Sticks and Sushi which is a really really lovely sushi bar they just do so many good like Japanese dishes it's absolutely delicious so really looking forward to lunch lunch now that was such an amazing sushi they really do do such good food so we definitely recommend sticks and sushi here in oxford um, and we're just come back to a little bit of sightseeing i feel like i've been to oxford a couple of times and i've never been like a proper oxford tourist so we're going to do a little bit of sightseeing wander around some of the old university buildings the colleges it really is just such a beautiful city i feel like it's the perfect place just to go for a lovely walk it's just like such a chilly october day i am absolutely freezing i'm not gonna lie to you did not dress well enough i've got my little caramel body warmer on Myself, not myself, Louis Vuitton, Pochette Matisse and my little duo boots and I wish I had a warm going right now because it's so, so cold um, but hopefully might find a little coffee shop to pop into, warm the cockles um, but it's just such a beautiful place to go, wonder and explore.
Good evening, everyone. Well, my goodness me, have you ever seen a hotel room with good lighting? I feel like they just don't exist, um, but it is quite a while later now, and Alex and I are currently both getting ready for the evening because we are going out for drinks, and then we're getting dinner afterwards, and we're going to the Ivy, which is literally one of my favourite, favourite places, and such a gorgeous restaurant here in Oxford. So I've just been giving myself a super quick little makeup top up, of course, using the Bobbi Brown um, powder, which I absolutely love. This is the vitamin in rich powder which i really need because we have been walking around all afternoon we've been proper oxford tourists today which has been so much fun i've loved seeing all of like the old buildings and like the university buildings because i feel like when we came to oxford in the past we weren't really like tourists so it was really really nice to have a proper wander around and explore um so i'm using the nars blush stick which i absolutely adore for makeup top ups and i've also just put on a bit of the pixie on the go bronze um, and i'm gonna put on some lip gloss from pixie which i absolutely adore this is in the shade sheer rose and it's just such a lovely oh lovely shade it's such a perfect like little bit more moody kind of evening lipstick which i just absolutely adore i've also just changed up my jewelry so i put in my gorgeous new simone rocha pearl earrings which i absolutely adore and we're going all out with the pearls because you know how much i adore pearls i feel like they're just so timeless and so classic so i've got the um pearl necklace on this is a jenny packham one um a gorgeous little pandora brilliance ring is that what you're doing are you trying to show me your watch no, i'm trying to show you the time oh you. sorry yes okay all right i'll just show my outfit quickly more pearls diamonds pearls all of that jazz let me show you my full look okay well at least we have a full length mirror so i can show you my full outfit of the evening so i've just let my hair down giving it a little top up all of the jewelry and i'm wearing the gorgeous little phase eight jumper dress which has the most beautiful like detailing to it i love this detailing because it just gives it such an interest um i put on a little sandro jacket i have my vivaya sock boots and baby's first outing bringing out the jimmy chew for the first time and i'm so so excited i feel like our seven year anniversary is the perfect time for baby's first outing because she's just so beautiful and she really like kicks off the season for evening attire right let's go no one's gonna put that baby in the corner <laughs> no one's gonna put this baby in the corner my little jimmy chew you look lovely as well so right let's head off goodness me you can probably hear it in my voice i've lost my voice a little bit I'm ever so slightly delicate this morning alex is currently just in the shower and we are getting ready for breakfast because i feel like getting breakfast the next morning just like cures everything it just makes you feel so much better makes you feel so alive again especially after a night we had last night my goodness me oxford is actually such a fun place to go for a night out because 
we're not really like club people or like we're barely even bar people anymore i feel like we're just we love to go somewhere that's just like a nice vibe a nice ambience um good chat good friends good drinks and that's exactly what last night was we had so much fun a lot of cocktails and a bottle of champagne later um and we just stayed out just chatting the night away and it was really really lovely the food at the ivy was absolutely delicious i think i forgot to film my starter i got arancini balls to start incredible um the mushroom and truffle linguine which is like a seasonal one at the moment amazing and then the golden bomb chocolate bomb something bomb in the end um for my dessert and they were just absolutely incredible so a really really fun night um but plan of action at four this morning i think we're heading out for breakfast so i'm not gonna lie to you i don't think there's a couple of making it to breakfast but it might end up just being me and alex but i think we're gonna head out and have a wonder because a bit of fresh air bit of food puts the world to rights and it is another beautiful blue sky day not that you'd know it because obviously the hotel room is so dark but behind me it is beautiful blue skies if you can see up there oh my goodness me although it does mean that it is another really chilly day today so i'll show you my full outfit i've got the coziest little knit on this little phase eight knit i'm absolutely loving and i'm living in my sweaty betty leggings at the moment i just can't be without them so it's gonna be a day to wrap up warm but it should be another got very squeaky door with the bathroom but it should be another lovely day out in oxford okay so outfit of the day thank goodness i brought this coat with me because i wasn't sure how chilly it was going to be but it really is like full-on coat weather so i've got this gorgeous holland cooper coat on this is the um branson trench and oh my gosh it has just been my favorite ever since i got it right at the start of autumn i've absolutely loved it and every time i wear it i get so many compliments i've had a few questions about what size i picked this up in and i picked it up in a medium kind of wish i'd gone for a large just because when i'm wearing a knit like this it's ever so slightly tight around the arms so it's just about kind of like what fit you like i always feel like when it comes to coats best off sizing up and then it means that you can always like cinch them in at the waist and like pull them in and kind of create more of a silhouette um when you want to um but it does still fit really really beautifully so medium large whichever you would rather go for depending on like kind of what size and what fit you um want i've then got my louis vuitton again my little pochette matisse she's such a good like city exploring bag she's one that i can just chuck on crossbody and not have to worry about um so love her also fits everything that i need in her as i said i've got my sweaty betty leggings on and my duo boots again i love these ones these are the brown ones they're just such a like cute little like country style kind of boot which is just my absolute favorite and they're super comfy for walking around and exploring in so ready for another day of exploring oxford it really has just been the loveliest coziest weekend here in oxford city it's been so much fun So we are back home now after the loveliest weekend in Oxford. Lovely breakfast, which the other two did not make it to. <laughs> which i feel like if that doesn't show what a good night we had then i don't know what does oxford is honestly just one of the loveliest places to go and visit i'm not gonna lie though it is lovely to be a home and it's so nice to have the rest of the evening just to do a bit of a sunday reset and get ready for the week ahead but before i do that i did actually pick up a couple of bits whilst we were in Westgate. I keep wanting to call it West Key because obviously West Key is the shopping centre nearest to me in Southampton City Centre. It's not West Key, it's Westgate in Oxford, which is a great shopping centre actually. They have loads of really, really good stores. Like we spent ages actually having a little wonder because there's a lot of stores that I wouldn't normally get to go and like visit in person, like Cos and other stories. There were so many lovely stores, but of course I was most drawn to H&M and I actually have not done a H&M haul in such a long time to the point of i've started getting requests for it and i'm never going to do a haul for the sake of doing a haul it's only if i'm like really adding pieces into my wardrobe did you see my elbow click oh my god if i'm really like adding pieces into my wardrobe that i really want to you know elevate my wardrobe replace something in my wardrobe update something in my wardrobe and i've just not really been drawn to like doing a huge h&m order however whilst we were in Westgate I did spot a couple of things that I wanted to show you and I thought we could style them up a bit because I do feel like I've definitely got like 
evening dressing on my mind. Now, as we're coming into November, December, I know I'm going to have a lot more like evening activities, I think is probably the right word to use. Um, I'm gonna be going out for a lot more meals. I have like evening meals, work meals, going out for drinks with friends, hosting, things like that. I know we're coming up to the busy season. And I really want to make sure that my kind of like evening wear wardrobe is like as best as it can be. And I definitely started making an effort to do this last year. But I felt like, especially when I was like planning what to wear last night and like packing our bags, I was just kind of like lacking a few evening wear pieces. And as I was wandering around H&M, they had some really gorgeous evening wear bits. So the first one that I picked up, which I feel like is something that, as I said, when it comes to adding pieces into your wardrobe, you're either upgrading, replacing, or filling a gap. And this is definitely filling a gap for me. It is a plain black pleated midi skirt, kind of like mid axi definitely on me, because let's be honest, I'm shorter than the average human. Um, but I have a lot of pleated skirts in my wardrobe. I've got two favorites, which are both actually from Suzanne. Although the white one that I have, I'm pretty sure H&M do a white version of this. Um, so I will leave that linked down below if I can find it. Um, but I do not have a black pleated skirt in my wardrobe. And I feel like this is such a like classic item to have in your wardrobe and such an easy item to style up for an evening and just to make a little bit more elevated. This is the kind of thing that I feel like is so great to have in your wardrobe because you can wear it with trainers and like a chunky jumper for more of like a daytime look. Elevate it with like a black shirt, some heels, a little sparkly handbag, and you've got like a beautiful evening look. So I thought this would be a great one to add into my wardrobe. And it was only $32.99, which I feel like is a really good price. I also love the fact that, I don't know if you can see this, but it does actually have an elasticated waistband, which means if you're going out for an evening meal, you're gonna be comfortable. You can have a lot of room for the food baby. I'm such a like bloater when I eat, that is always something that I think about when it comes to like evening outfits or like date night outfits, going out for meals. I always think, how much room do I have to grow <laughs> in here? And this is a great one because you definitely have room for the food baby to develop. And I just thought this was such a gorgeous skirt. And then when it comes to lovely evening shirts, I definitely think I have a bit of a way to go with regards to my evening wear wardrobe. You would have seen in my latest Zara haul, I've been adding a few gorgeous satin skirts, skirts, shirts into my wardrobe. And H&M are actually doing almost identical ones. So if those Zara ones have sold out, I will leave the H&M ones linked down below because they had like black, they had almost an identical color green, like an emerald kind of forest green. They had white, they had like a beigey color. I will leave them linked down below because I thought they were gorgeous. Um, but the thing that I was most drawn to was this stunning shirt. Now it's a really beautiful like silky shirt. And I must admit, I feel like satin, silk, whatever you want to call it, is definitely in this year. It's a trend that I was not expecting to see, but I've seen everywhere. As I said, I picked up the Zara ones, I've seen them in H&M, and other stories had a lot of silky pieces, Cos had a lot of silky pieces, um, Mango had some silky pieces. There were so many like silky evening wear looks, like way more than I feel like we normally get to see. Um, what I really, really like this is I feel like it's a very me silhouette and a very me style. It's got this beautiful high collar, which started up with either the pearls that I was wearing last night, a beautiful pendant necklace, like diamond necklaces. I feel like you can really really elevate something like this um, and it's super easy to wear you can tuck it into the skirt I just showed you or a pair of trousers you can wear it with a silk skirt you can wear it with leather leggings like there's loads of different options that you can wear with this and I feel like just like a gorgeous black evening shirt is just an absolute classic to have in your wardrobe and if I like it I'll just get it in another color we all know what I'm like, but actually this is slightly different to the black one. I've just noticed that the um, padded shoulder isn't sitting nicely. First of all, because of the padded shoulders, and second of all, because of the color. I am so obsessed with brown right now. I just feel like it's such a gorgeous like autumnal tone. And if you're looking for something that is really elevated, like very much evening wear, but not so kind of like stereotypical evening wear, just something a little bit different. I feel like a dark brown like this is just absolutely gorgeous i think it's so so beautiful and something that you can really elevate for an evening again i feel like this would work with so much i also think this would look really cool with like a pair of straight leg jeans not not that i'm really a jeans girl but um yeah i just thought this would be such a gorgeous one to add into my wardrobe and again you can elevate it you can style it up with your jewelry i really really love this kind of like drapage i feel like it's super super flattering and this one's a slightly different material it's like a bit um kind of like stretchier and a little bit more it feels comfier to wear which I really like because I always want to be comfortable especially in my evening wear pieces because I always say if you feel confident if you feel comfortable you'll feel confident 
that's what I was trying to say there. Um, so I always like to make sure to put comfort first when it comes to my evening attire and then kind of like elevation and elegance second and third. So I thought this was one that ticked all three boxes and would be so gorgeous to style up for all of the evening events that I've got coming up. Okay, so this first look I am so, so obsessed with. I've just put the pleated skirt on with the gorgeous satin shirt. So as I said, this one's from Zara, but H&M do an identical version to this. I would say size down on them. I'm normally like a medium with H&M and with Zara. This I got a small in, so definitely go for the size down because I just feel like, when, especially when it comes to evening wear, it's a little bit nicer when it's a bit more like fitted and flattering. So I really, really love the silhouette of this and I love the way that the skirt cinches in at my waist. I picked this up in a medium and it fits so perfectly. I am absolutely obsessed with the silhouette of it. I mean, look at that teeny tiny waist it gives me. Oh my goodness me. And I just love the length of it. I love the movement in my in the skirt. There's nothing better than when you're kind of like walking. You can just feel that movement in it. I feel like it works so, so well as well with the Vivaya sock boots. These are what I was wearing yesterday and they were the best thing ever, especially if you're going somewhere where there's a lot of cobbles. Um, the friends that we were hanging out with, she was wearing boots that had like an amazing stiletto heel, but my God, she couldn't walk. Honestly, it was the funniest thing. We were having to like cling on to each other. Um, whereas these obviously have just the smallest little elevated heel, works so, so well for evening attire and you can still walk a very long distance in these. Can confirm actually I've worn these all around London and they are super, super comfortable. Um, and they just work so beautifully with this kind of look at that movement. Oh my goodness me. And I have of course paired my little Jimmy Choo bonbon bag. She's just the cutest thing in the world. The friends we were hanging out with as well. She was like, oh, is that the bonbon? I was like, it is. She not just adorable and I love the fact that I can put her on my arm you don't have to worry about like putting her crossbody or holding her and drinks and like phones and things like that she's so so handy so I love this I feel like it works so so well together the shirt and the skirt just complement each other so beautifully and very unsurprisingly the black shirt also works so so well with the skirt I just love an all black outfit for an evening attire I feel like it's just elegant classy easy to start and I just love the fact that I can wear the skirt so it feels very very me. Um, I also picked this up in a small actually. I decided to size down on this because it did look a bit oversized and I'm really glad it did because I feel like it just fits really really nicely. I feel like I've been sizing down a lot in H&M recently. I don't know why but they just seem to be doing so much oversized. Um, so in reference in terms of like my actual sizing I'm a 12 and I wouldn't normally go for a small but this fits so beautifully in the small. I also love the fact that you have like an ever so slight bell sleeve but they're not really a bell sleeve so really comfortable and flattering and really really elevated. Um, now I'm actually surprised that the collar is like a lot looser than I was expecting it to be like I thought it would be really really high necked but especially with like some layered jewellery I think this would just look so so gorgeous like pearls, a pendant, like a really thick chunky necklace I think would be absolutely stunning and really elevate the look and help kind of like pull it's up a little bit um, but I just thought this shirt was so gorgeous I could not resist styling it up. Just to show you another super easy alternative with this shirt I wanted to start up with trousers because I know a lot of you girls are trouser girlies and they also look absolutely gorgeous. The main styling thing I would say with this shirt is that it definitely needs tucked in just because of the silhouette of it kind of like comes out a little bit underneath and I just don't know if that would really work maybe with a slip skirt potentially but I think the trousers also work really really well and just tie in so beautifully. Well, I figured seeing as we were here we may as well try it with a slip skirt and I do definitely agree I feel like tucked in just works so much better with this unless you're to wear like a really low waisted trouser which I don't really think is any of our vibes like we're not really the Gen Z low waist gals um so just like tucked into a little slip skirt like this this is a gorgeous one it's quite old from um asos but i think new look are doing something similar and it has the most beautiful slit in it and do you know what i really like about this is you can style up in so many different ways you can either wear it with sock boots like i'm wearing but another gorgeous way to wear a skirt like this is with knee-high boots because then you just get the tiniest little pop of leg here and then you just get to see like the, all the leather of the boot and it's so unbelievably flattering so i really really love that and it just has again beautiful movement as you walk so really nice to know that this shirt works with a lot of different things i feel like it's just one of those shirts that's so easy to keep in your wardrobe i know i say this a lot but it's a very very ageless style which is what i absolutely love about it now this last one i definitely need your opinions on because i have to actually admit it is kind of my least favorite of the three and i wasn't expecting that because i'm so obsessed with this color right now i feel like it might be a little bit too dark and i'm not actually sure if it's working with the black 
and I really really like brown and black at the moment the thing I'm also struggling with is the shoulder pads I feel like they don't come quite far out enough now this was the only one that I picked up in a medium because it looked a lot smaller in size um, and I'm definitely glad that I did in fact I could have probably done with a large because I feel like the fabric's pulling a little bit in a way that it's not supposed to like you can see it's quite tight around my arms and it's just making the shoulder pads not look quite right I feel like the more I'm talking to you about it the more I'm talking myself out of it and I'm just not entirely sure if it's working but I won't return anything until I chat it to you guys and until you let me know what the verdict is but this one I'm gonna need your help with is this a keep or is this a return I'm not gonna lie it's actually been so fun to like style up pieces with you guys I feel like it's been such a long time since I've done like especially like evening wear styling and especially as we're coming into November and December I feel like elevating your evening wardrobe just like updating your evening wear wardrobe is so so important because there's nothing worse than on the night you have no idea what to wear there's a huge pile of clothes on the bed everything looks awful you're in a rush like you just want to make sure that you have those pieces like locked and loaded in your brain take photos of them add them into your camera roll so that you can like go back and know what looks good what feels good like what you can style up and how you can like mix and match your pieces so on that note i think i'm gonna go and get comfy on the sofa and spend the rest of the day at comatose because we were very delicate when we first woke up this morning i'm feeling much better now but I definitely still need a bit of time to recover, do a bit of a Sunday reset and get ready for the week ahead. So I really hope you guys enjoyed spending the weekend with us and coming into Oxford. It was just such a lovely, cozy day and a really nice way to celebrate our seven year anniversary. Absolutely blows my mind, which speaking of Alex did buy me some chocolates on the word home. So that was my seven year anniversary gift. I'm gonna go downstairs and enjoy those. You know, you've got a keeper when they go and fuel up and they always say, do you want anything from the shop? And you're like, no, no, no. And then they come back out and they, they get you some chocolate. That's when you know you've got to keep it. But I'm going to go get comfy on the sofa. If you got to the end of this video, leave me the word star down below in your comment in a sentence or leave your favorite star emoji down below. My one's like the twinkly scar. I really, really like that because we're looking at evening wear, we're looking at festive styling, and I am getting excited. So leave the word star or the star emoji down below in your comment. And if you haven't hit the subscribe button, I would absolutely love that if you did it now. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.